Color temp is often referred on the Kelvin scale. On one end you have 2800 Kelvin or 3200 Kelvin, and this is typically called tungsten. So on one side of the Kelvin spectrum, you have that warmer light. To the eye, it feels a lot warmer. And on the other side, you have 5600 Kelvin, which to the eye, that feels uh, cooler. These are the two color temps you wanna keep in mind. There's a color temp of your lights. There's also another color temperature that I think some people forget about, and it's the color temperature of your camera. This relationship between the color temp that your camera settings are set at and whatever you're photographing, the actual real kel uh, Kelvin that your lights might be at in the frame, are gonna play a very big part. There are a couple ways you can use Kelvin to get the look you are going for. The first one we're gonna to touch on deals with adjusting the Kelvin of your lighting away from the Kelvin in camera. The times where this is helpful are when you are shooting a scene and you want your lighting to appear warmer or cooler. Let me give you this example of this relationship between the Kelvin in camera and the Kelvin of your lights. Say we have our key light set to 4,500 Kelvin and say in camera we have our uh, Kelvin set to 4,500 Kelvin. When matching them, the light is gonna appear white. You know, it's gonna appear on camera, on the monitor. Everything will feel very neutral. It's not gonna feel too cold. It's not gonna feel too warm. They're perfectly in sync with each other. Well, say you wanted this to feel warmer. You could leave your Kelvin in camera set to 4,500 Kelvin, and then you could bring this light down, warming it up to 3,200 Kelvin. By doing that, you've warmed up your key by adjusting the Kelvin away from where you're balanced in camera. The same is true if you wanted to cool this key light off. You would stay at 4,500 Kelvin in camera, and you would bring this key light up to 5,600 Kelvin. You're cooling it off. So moving your lights Kelvin on the Kelvin spectrum in relation to where your Kelvin is set in camera will make the lights appear cooler or warmer in camera. And now we're going to touch on the second way you can adjust Kelvin to get the look you are going for. And that is by adjusting the Kelvin in your camera. There's going to be instances when you are working with lights where the color temperature is fixed, like an HMI or the sun. Those are fixed at 5600 Kelvin no matter what. But there's an easy fix to this, especially if you want to have your lighting play warmer or cooler. An easy way to demonstrate this method of adjusting the Kelvin in camera to alter the look of your lighting and footage is by shooting outside. Outside, as we know at this point, is 5600 Kelvin. There's not much we can do about that, but if we want to have this appear warmer or cooler in camera, we can adjust the Kelvin in camera to get this look. Here's the same shot, one shot balanced at daylight at 5600 Kelvin, and as you can see, it appears pretty neutral or white, not too warm, not too cool, but the shot on the right was actually balanced at 3200 Kelvin. So you can see how just by balancing your camera's Kelvin, you know, lower at 3200, how it appears much cooler. And the same can also be done if you want to warm up the look in camera when shooting outside. If you balance the Kelvin of your camera at 7500 Kelvin, you will notice your footage and the overall look is gonna be significantly warmer. 